We have a quick video here to help you to better manage your tables in a Google Doc. So uh, we will start with how you put a table in a Google Doc. You can see that I have one in here. And you simply need to put your cursor somewhere. So I'm going to just throw my cursor in here. And you could go to the Insert menu. And you could go down to Table. And you'll notice that if you go over to the right, you just have to define the size of your table, which means how many cells. So if I wanted four across and three down, I could do that. And it's easy to manipulate it after the fact if you get your numbers wrong. So by default, it is going to spread that table out so that it is um, flush up against your left and right margins but there are ways to change that as well. So I'm just gonna leave that there and then I'm gonna go down to, yes, that does happen. I'm gonna throw that over there. All right, I'm gonna go down to a table that's already been created and show you how I would manipulate this. First of all, if you click in the table anywhere, you can click on your borders. So here, if you see, I hover between the borders of the first and second column. I could click and I could drag that border um, and that would redefine the widths of my columns. And so that's one thing that you're able to do. Another thing you could notice is that when you're clicked in a particular cell, there's a pull down menu, and that is will um, allow you to manipulate the borders of that particular cell um, based on the pictures. You could probably figure that out. But then you have to keep in mind that you have, for formatting purposes, you have an entire menu dedicated to the table. So to insert, or de to insert or delete rows and columns, you'll notice those options are right here. And so if I have my cursor here and I wanna insert a row, I simply click on table, insert a row above or below, and it's going to go above or below where my cursor is. All right, so that put one in there above. Now I can also do the same thing with a column. Insert a column to the left or to the right. There I have a column. Another thing you can do with a cell or excuse me a table is you can merge cells. So if I wanted to put a let's say some sort of a header between these items and these items I could highlight those three columns and in in, within that row and I could go table and I'm going to merge those cells. And now that is a single cell where I could center and I could maybe put in some sort of a title in here, bold it. All right, lastly, or close to lastly, notice that you have table properties. So I could click anywhere, maybe I would highlight this particular cell with the title and I could go to the properties and I can change some things about my overall cell, meaning size, sizes and whatnot, but I can also change the cell background. So if I wanted a different color, I could click here. I could change the border, the thickness of the border, um, the alignment of the content within the cells. You can play with that a little bit. I'm gonna click okay. And um, because I just had that one row highlighted, then only that row became yellow. If I wanted the whole table to be yellow, I would have to um, highlight or select all of the rows. All right, lastly, how do you delete a table? So if you single click anywhere in the table, click on the table menu, you can get rid of it fairly easily.